Hey guys, Kev here, and welcome to your What's Hot video for this week. This will be the week of January 10th, I believe, January 10th. And uh, yeah, shout out to Urban EC for sending some stuff my way to check out from the drop. We got a bunch of stuff here, and uh, I don't think I'm going to do the face cam portion just because there's a lot here and I think it'd be better to just you know try to keep it a little bit shorter the unboxing knife is this nine tie EDC little utility knife this guy is on Amazon I'll link it down below but it's 27 bucks and it's actually really really cool you just remove this here wheel and then you can uh, wiggle this out and replace the blade and then you have G10, uh, there's some other options. I know uh, O-Knife has a carbon fiber or faux carbon fiber version, but for 30 bucks, this thing is an amazing box opener and it's become my dedicated unboxing knife. But actually, you know what? I don't even have any boxes. <laughs> I already opened the main box, so we're just gonna open stuff. This looks to be a Audacious Concepts Triangle Glow Bead in titanium. It says Prometheus tie satin. Okay. So Audacious Concepts Finland. Got it. So we do need the uh, the old knife. The only thing I don't love about this is the studs are smooth. So it can be a little bit difficult to flick out for me. Um, let's see. Is there one on the other side? Nope. Okay. Here we go. The triangle beat. Look at that. That is pretty cool, actually. So... Basically, you get this uh, triangular shaped bead, and then these all glow. I assume those are tritium. Did it say tritium somewhere? Uh, it just says glow, so I can't be positive if it's tritium or not, but um, I would venture to guess that it is. Let's see. Well, doesn't seem to be glowing. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay, so you have to charge it. That kind of sucks. Um, so it's still cool, but depending on the price, um, it would have been cooler if it was tritium, you know? I don't know how that would have worked, but it would have been pretty sick because I don't like anything that you have to charge because I feel like you just end up sitting there charging it. And um, I don't know, just makes it less fun for me than tritium. But some people would argue tritium's dangerous, so hey, what are you going to say? Can't win that battle. Uh, <laughs> here is another one in copper. But this one is a mushroom. Immediately makes me think of my buddy Stevie over at Said Stevie. Go check out his channel. Awesome dude. And it's a little mushroom bead. I'm going to have to show him this. The only thing better is if they had a pickle-shaped one, because everybody knows said Stevie loves pickles. Definitely let Stevie know in the comments that you know about his pickle obsession. All right, so there's that one. And then we have a uh, gold Sagaha Black Fulcrum. So here's the front side, and then it's probably lasered. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty slick right there. I have a couple of fulcrums, actually. I have uh, two or three, but they're like, I mean, they're definitely beat up. I think I have two. This one has my logo on it. Shout out to Vero for sending me this. And then I have another one. I think it's in my truck that I keep in there, which reminds me, I need to take this and put this in my truck because I actually needed tweezers just the other day. We were on the way home from my parents and my kid for some, she's three, for some reason she had this little like rubber stringy thing. It wasn't a rubber band, but it was similar. And somehow she put it up her nose. She's never done anything like that. And she was like, oh, I can put it up my nose. And I didn't believe it. My wife checked with her phone light and like she's like there's something up there so 
We had to pull over and I had to get out. I'm searching for tweezers. I couldn't find anything. I handed my wife my um, my uh, Leatherman Skeletal <laughs> and gave her the pliers. <laughs> she actually tried to get in her nose with the pliers. <laughs> ah, and then I came around. I was just like, I held one side of her nose and I just said, blow. And she actually blew and it came out. So anyway, it reminded me that I need some kind of tweezers in the truck. And this would be a good way to do that. So, anyway, there's a black fulcrum with cigar. It's pretty cool. You always get a cloth, extra bits, good stuff. We have a couple of uh, knives. Uh, well, let's check out this pry bar. So, this is cool. This is from Daily Customs. Uh, they're a German company out of Hamburg, my, oh, my hometown. And what's the best way to do this? Probably, honestly... They're making it difficult here. I kind of just want to cut the uh, bag like that. See if I can't squeeze it out. There we go. So, oh, wait, hold on, what? So is this just an extra? Just like a little uh, lanyard thing? So it says pry back accessories. Okay. Daily Customs Pryback 2, all right. Um, it came with this, 100% made in Northern Germany, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, it came with this, which is pretty cool. It just has these plastic um, faux, uh, whatchamacallums. Is this a sticker? I guess so. Maybe it... Do I not understand the point here? Is there more to this than I understand? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But uh, it looks like a uh, just uh, something you would hang. I thought maybe it was a file or something, but no. Uh, and then you have the pry back. This is pretty slick, actually. I got to say, I'm not the biggest pry bar fan, but this is super lightweight. Super minimal, but it has that really fine tip. I mean, I, you don't see a lot of pry bars with tips like this. And that's what I want, personally. Uh, we were talking about, well, we have the fulcrum right here. You can see the difference. And the fulcrum is not really thick. It's on the better side. A lot of them are too thick, in my opinion. This is good. Um, this is really thin. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it is microscopic. I like that a lot. This is probably my favorite pry bar I've seen in a while. Um, a lot of people like the Mr. Nice Guy ones. Um, sure, those are really nicely made. This really floats my boat. Just how light it is. This thing would just disappear in your pocket. Um, and then it doesn't have a stupid bottle opener on it. I cannot stand the ones with bottle openers. You can just use this to pop the bottle. I don't know how durable this tip is, but it's a pry bar. It better be. Um, really nice finish, too. Wow. This is impressive. I really like this. So that's the uh, pry back from Daily Custom. Shout out to them. I'm going to try to keep packaging all together, but keep the items out. The next one is from... Uh, the Matsy, and uh, we actually saw this one a couple weeks ago. This is the uh, Striga. Um, I guess there's, ooh, oh, yes. I was kind of hoping I'd get to check out a different one. Hardware in there. Best tech OEM on these. And let me just tuck it away. Here it is. Yeah, this was one that really grew on me last time. If you watch my initial uh, unboxing, I don't think I loved it all that much. But the more that I had uh, had it in and just try to give it a give it a try, it um it actually felt really good. It's a very small knife, so that's going to be the downside for a lot of people. But um, I mean, look at that action. That's impressive action for such a tiny little guy. It says Matsy right there. Got some numbering. This one has uh, Lava Flow Fat Carbon, which is really cool. Bead Blast Bolsters. I'm assuming M390 Blade Steel. Yeah, 
Very cool little bolster lock knife. If you're looking for a little uh, nugget knife, I think you would enjoy this guy quite a bit. That's the Striga, the first knife of the group. We have three other knives and another item, and this item is intriguing me. Look at this. It's from Audacious Concepts. It's made out of pea plastic. And it's a pen or a bit driver? Which one? Unscrews. Ah, it's a pen. Okay. And then, nope. Can't put that on the back. Interesting. Just an Ultim pen. Okay. How do I... Okay. So you can unscrew here. And the rest... Ah, it is a Parker refill, which is nice. Uh, it's not what's in here. They have a Kaweco or whatever the heck that is. But um, Parker refills fit, which is great. It's my style. And yeah, it feels pretty good in hand. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of pens that are not clickies because I just want to be able to either rip. That's Sorry. I just want to be able to click or bolt action or something. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I was going to say if it's two pieces, popping it apart would be preferred versus screwing. That's what she said. But I do like the uh, sort of symmetric nature of it, except for it's not actually symmetric. And then it's darker back here than it is up here, which is interesting. So in this batch or whatever, the finish is just different. Or they had different pieces of Ulta maybe for each section. I don't know, but that's wild. It is very cool, though. Got to give them that. So, that's the uh, 10X pen. 10X pen in Frag Ultim. All right. We have more knives. This is from Vero Engineering. We have a very weird box. And I believe this is a, a mini impulse, which, man, I really hope he does... This one is a lefty next if he does more lefties because I love this knife. This is probably my favorite design just because he doesn't really have a sheep's foot. And this is um, one of my favorite blade shapes he's done is the impulse blade. Now, of course, I would have went with uh, black wash if it was me. But, you know, they're just sending me stuff to check out. But the action on these... I mean, it breaks in so well. And um, the detent on this example is really good. That was the one issue I had with the mini impulse I had was I loved it so much, but it just had a little bit of a lighter detent. This is perfect. And then, of course, you have that finger flick available right there, which is really, really nice, which is why it would be cool to have a lefty version because... Uh, Vero's are one of those knives that, as a lefty, you just can't enjoy them the same way. Because you got the slot on one side, like, here's my lefty Synapse, which is the, um, the drop point bolster lock brother of the Mini Impulse. So it's a little bit confusing, but you have the regular size Synapse, which is close in size to the Mini Impulse. And then you have a large synapse and a normal impulse that are close in the same size. I like how they've done that, but just interesting. It's just a very clean design. By the way, uh, Vero still has the lefty synapses available. Um, I do have a link in the description that you can use. That'll help the channel, and uh, that'll take you over to Vero. And uh, yeah, they have the lefties available. Yeah, that's, man, look at that. It broke in, like, instantly. Such a good knife. Love the Tanto. I love how he has this sort of C, uh, CRK kind of Tanto look at the front of the blade there. Just a clean knife. Really, really always enjoyed the uh, Mini Impulse. Okay, we have a couple of Peñas here. We have the Alcaron. Alacron, my bad. Alacron and PVD snakeskin. Ooh. I actually just ordered a Pena. They dropped some more of those Paramours. And I picked up a Purple Haze Fat Carbon version. Sure, Urban AC will have those at some point. 
This is a model that everybody was after last year. They did another drop recently, and um, people just love this model. I tend to struggle a little bit with Pena's uh, knives. The, um, the relief cuts usually bother me. Sometimes the weight, it's just different things. The jimping, like my skin will build up in it and stuff. So I'm very picky with his knives. This is gorgeous. Look at that. It has this PVD sort of almost uh, acid wash look to the frame. And then this beautiful snakeskin bronze, I guess. Man, that is a sexy knife. Weight is pretty good. Kind of, ooh, kind of reminds me of the Bravo that I had. That knife was just too heavy, you know? Wow, that is really good. And this is the exact probably version I would want with this beautiful belt satin blade. Swings down. Wow, this is really nice. Dead centered. Oh, wow. Detent is on point. Uh-oh. It's got a nice clicky close. Let's see how she works left-handed. Can I flick it? Uh-oh. a little awkward it's just kind of like placement where do i put like where the stud is located isn't perfect for me but man choke up grip is good this is kind of a combination to me of like the bravo mixed with um the moolah but i think this is a hobby yep this is a hobby garcia design sorry getting a sip of my Reading Draft Orange Cream Soda here. Man, this is a good knife, though. Good to see a Pena with a stronger detent. I mean, it's perfect. V uh, Vero, a Riot OEM. Let's see if there's any. No play there. No play there. No play there. Good there. Really light taps just because it's not my knife. Although it may be my knife. Because, holy shit, this is good. This is really good. Man, we're going to have to see how much I like that Paramore. And uh, if it turns out I like this one better, I might have to pick this up. Just do a little swap. Sell, sell that Paramore and keep this. Not that I can't have both, but... Damn, that's good. Now I know what all the fuss was about with this one. Where's the, uh, there is an insert. Yep, there's an insert. And this does not need skiffs or anything. I mean, it is butter. Look at that. That flipper tab. Man, it's so good. Okay. That's the Alacron. Wow, I slept on this, guys. I slept on that one. The next one is the um, the Sicario, which is a basically, in my opinion, it's a large Caballero, which is a little front flipper only design from Pena. Man, boxes are tight. She said. So this one has my Carta. So this one's definitely not sticking around. <laughs> Thank God they didn't send me another one I wanted to keep. They sent me the perfect version of this. I mean, I'm sure there's other versions, but I really like how that looks. I feel like I already own this. Damn, it's good. All right. This is PVD coated black micarta. Look at that clip. Oh, yeah, I didn't check the clip on this. Oh, it's a normal relief cut. Let me just uh, check it. Come on, baby. Ooh. Oh, something's getting caught there. What the heck is going on? Huh. Let me just try my sharp by design. In the pocket? Out of the pocket. Not noticing anything with that. Something was hanging up. Are these thumb studs proud? No. I think it would be fine if I was standing up or whatever. And I really like that. It's got a good click. Okay. This one has the scissory relief cuts. We'll have to test that. 
basically it's just a long steak knife it's a um what is that just want to point out this was there I didn't do that, obviously. Came out of the package like that. <laughs> it's a good thing about unboxing stuff. Look at that. Wow, it's all shredded here, too. What is going on? My card is all beat up. And then right here, it's all... Could try some alcohol on there. But anyway, luckily, this one... Oh, hoo, hoo. oh shit. Sorry, when did I zoom in? Um... Look at that action. It almost feels like it has a uh, Persian blade because it's so long. The way it, like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm feeling a double click when I open it, which is... I guess because it's such an early detail. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a double click. It's really weird. Hmm. I mean, action is bananas. I wonder. It's huh? good. This one, I believe, is all Pena, right? Yeah. This is an M4. Oh, that was the one thing about the... Um, the Paramore I was worried about is that it's it's M4, and I rust M4 like it's my job. What's this one? Please be M390. Yes, M390. Not the best deal in the world, but for general purposes and whatnot, definitely a solid one. Man, this is good. Imagine if it had a hole instead of studs but even with it that's good very good all right there you go guys there's a bunch of cool stuff from urban edc for the gear drop we got four knives a pen pry bars and some beads and i think that's mostly everything i'll double check real quick see if i can pull up the uh See if I can pull it up. They have the uh, Daily Customs Pry Bar. It looks like they also have the V5 uh, Anso tool. I have one of those. I love this thing. Highly recommend this little guy if you want a little backup driver or you have small hands and you just want one driver or whatever. I absolutely love this thing. It's definitely one of my favorite drivers of all time. I actually like it more than the big one. They have the beads, the pen, the mushroom, or the amanita, they're calling it, and there's the fulcrum. So that's everything. Uh, link is down below to Urban EDC. Um, link to the gear drop as well. It will drop on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Unless you have early access, then you know you have early access, and uh, you can definitely uh, click that link at any point and uh, if you have any questions let oh, <laughs> that's the problem with this thing it's so small uh, if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments which one's your favorite item i'll put this guy out here too uh, let me know your favorite item this week i would say mine is hands down this alacron i did not realize how good this was and you know pain is usually pretty reasonable so i bet this is probably like 300 bucks or something. It's probably not crazy. It's probably going to be uh, affordable enough that I end up grabbing it. So, yeah, we shall see. But anyway, I love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.